in day 22. This is going to be a very strange out of order video. It's about five o'clock at night. Um, let's see, quick recap of everything that went on today. Um, got up, same thing, couldn't fall asleep till like noon or one, I don't know what the deal is, and then sleep hard from like noon, or not noon, midnight. Um, and then sleep hard from midnight till about six and then slowly decided to get out of bed i think i left camp but everything packed up at like 7 30. surprisingly it wasn't that cold for how windy it was when i set up like there's a few gusts but then not much else i apologize if you can't hear because it's gusty here too anywhere around mount hood has been windy um so anyway got up like 7 30 hiked up the hill oh the sand it was like a mile and a half but the sand i think i Looked at my Fitbit, it was like 100 floors of elevation um, in just a mile and a half. And uh, the sand just slows you down, sucks it out of you. Every step, you know, you take one step forward and half of it goes away with the sand moving. Um, so it didn't take a long, long time, like an hour or so. But I got up there. Um, it was pretty much dead. I mean, the parking lot was full. People were already taking the ski lift up. And there is a small uh, glacier still up there that they're skiing on. Um, so the lift was running up to there, and a bunch of people mountain biking, and a bunch of people running and hiking and all that stuff. But the lodge was relatively dead in the morning. Um, I probably could have got an earlier breakfast time, um, but I didn't know exactly what time I was going to be up there. So anyway, I think I got up there around 8, 8.30. I found a room, like the Barlow room, I think it was called, in the lodge. And it was just like a big game room. It had like a big ping pong table and a, a gigantic uh, Jenga and... Um, other games and stuff there and it looks like they do like some kind of screenings or something there with big tv anyway found a plug-in um comfortable chair and just hung out there for two hours and let everything charge then uh breakfast at 10 when had breakfast it's expensive because it's a lodge even more so than a resort um but it was really good like they didn't try to fancify anything like it was super just good food and um really good orange juice too um, so anyway, eight, took my time with that, no real rush, um, then when I was done, went back to that same room and hung out there for, I don't know, three hours or so, and just let everything charge, and people came and go, went and played games, and I, you know, just browsed on my phone, tried to get the hotel situation, situated in Cascade Locks, I have a plan for that, it doesn't look like they have laundry, um, but at least a shower, and I might, since I'm going to be there, it looks like two nights, I planned on it to, to, to go in there Tuesday, so it'll be Tuesday and Wednesday, I might just make sure I have everything I need, and then on Tuesday, there's like a little grocery store, if I need anything, get anything I could possibly think of I could need, and then, um, do laundry, like in the sink or something, just to have relatively, I'll still wash when I get home, just relatively clean clothes for the pickup, um, that was the other thing, I got a text, and looks like plans have kind of switched around. It's going to be Memorial Day weekend. Not the weekend we're on now, but next. Um, the plan was for my wife and boys to come down and meet me on the other side of Bridges of the Gods and pick me up. Or some form of that, possibly. Come to Cascade Locks. They drive over the Bridge of the Gods and I walk over and then we drive home. Um, now it looks like my parents are getting time off around Memorial Day too. And so they're talking about um, coming up to visit my sister on the same weekend. Well, sounds like we got hikers. This has been the problem with filming today. People everywhere. And then windy the rest of the time. So, hold up. Okay, so anyway, um, they... My parents are going to be going up to my sister's, which is where me and my family are living right now. Um, so they're coming down, and they're coming early in the morning to avoid heavy traffic. Well, by the time my wife can get the boys ready, or get up, get the boys ready, and all that stuff in the morning... They wouldn't be getting into Cascade Locks at 3, and kind of the plan was we could all meet up there and watch me finish. Well, my parents leave early. They can get up there in two and a half hours, um, and then they'd just be waiting around for Megan to get there with the boys and then um, for several hours, and then we'd all head back up after, but kind of defeats the purpose of my parents leaving early. Um, so... Now that that's kind of the plan, or that and we kind of know the details of what mom and dad are thinking in their timetable, um, Megan was talking about just letting, or just staying at my sister's, and just letting my parents swing by, 
Cascade Lock pick me up relatively early in the morning, whatever time they get there, um, finish up, and that way I'm back to them and the boys in an earlier time. So it's not the picture-perfect families there, boys are there to greet me or whatever, but, you know, the whole trip is, you know, constantly, it has to be an evolution to make it work for everyone, and they came down and did a lot last weekend, and it was a lot for her to pack the boys up, a lot of car ride for them, and they even, they, we, I even stayed an extra day longer with them. Um, and it made their, their car ride back even longer. So anything I can do to just make it easy so she doesn't have to pack up the boys. And technically, I get to see them sooner. So yes, they don't see me finish, but I don't know that Alice and Phoenix would really... I mean, Phoenix for sure not, but I don't know if Alice would really... If it would matter that much to him to be there or whatever. I know Megan's a little upset about it, but if it gets me there sooner and less driving for her, then it works. So that is the plan, Cascade Locks, Thursday morning. I'll probably get in there. I look at that at timetable, I'll probably get in there Tuesday. Anyway, the rest of today. So breakfast, sat around, got all that kind of figured out and squared out, and then they have another place where you can have lunch. It's a little bit cheaper, more of like a cafe type setting or whatever, and it closed at two, so I went down. So I had breakfast at 10, waited, and I went down like at 1.45, like just before they closed, because it was so close together meals and got a burger and fries and a cookie and that kind of stuff and milk which i haven't had milk in i mean chocolate milk but just plain milk i was like man i haven't had that in a month now that's super weird for me um so i had that that was super good uh, another place to charge there so i charged a little bit there and then i went back because chairs weren't as comfortable back as back in the other place back to the lodge sat there for a few more hours charged some more um kind of looked at gut hooks to kind of see there was a campsite like 1.5 away from um the lodge because everything near the lodge like there's tons of tents tons of people set up there so it's like if i can get just something a little ways and cut tomorrow's hike down just a tiny bit so i found a nice spot let me try to flip it around uh, right up there set up tent it's like super early super i think maybe the earliest i've ever set up a tent um out here on this trip and at like five but i got good service still um batteries are you know it didn't give them enough time they need kind of an overnight to get a full uh charge we got both of them halfway charged so that's not too bad and should be plenty for the next um three days or the rest of today and then yeah three days so anyway roughly the plan is um a 20 tomorrow or somewhere near there 18 see how i feel i think i need to do i was looking at it, i can get an eight mile into town i think that's the last tent site on gut hooks before cascade locks is eight miles from town so i can get to there if i do two roughly two 20s um i don't have to get right to there because i think the check-in i gotta double check it it said noon on my reservation but i think on their website it said three um and i got fooled by that before in ashland so I don't want to show up at noon thinking I'm going to get your mind right for a shower and your mind right to just sit down and relax in your own space. It's not the fanciest. It's real ghetto looking from the outside and still pretty spendy. It's like 81 bucks or something a night. There's not a lot of options in Cascade Locks and that's the budget option. So, and I'm going to be going on like 10, 9, 10 days without a shower. So, yeah, and it'd be nice just to know the hike for the most part besides the bridge of the gods is behind me and just hang out and chill and get clean and rested and whatever before i head home and then i don't have like a day where it's like oh i can't do anything because i'm so tired kind of get that ahead of time so i'm fresh and ready to play with the boys and all good to go um the minute i get back so even thought about if i can find something in cascade locks maybe get rid of all these locks because <laughs> it's just getting out of control but Anyway, so that's the plan, 20 tomorrow, which I've been doing 25s and 28s, the day off, I should be able to do 20, no problem, plus majority of it is downhill, um, I should see, oh, I can't remember the falls, there's a notorious falls on this section, headed down, and there's also a couple, or one or two river crossing sections, but I should hit most of that tomorrow and be done with that, I think, no, it might be the next day. Possibly tomorrow or possibly early the next day I get my last view of Hood before you start down the long descent because um, we're way up here at Hood and Cascade Locks is in the gorge, which is at zero elevation, uh, right at sea level almost, I think. So all tons of downhill from here. So should be relatively smooth, easy. 
um, should be about the same time setting up. I mean, depending on what time I go to sleep tonight and how late I, um, what I make, how late I sleep in, uh, should be relatively easy going um, tomorrow and be done about this early. So mentally, I have to accept after three days of pushing it, previous to today, um, a little bit is okay, even though the draw, it's like the reservation's not till Tuesday, if I get a Cascade Locks early, it's not gonna do me any good, um, that does look like they have a nice, uh, diner style drive-in type thing that does milkshakes and, and food, so if anything, I got, if I got in too early on Tuesday, I can hit that up first, um, and kill some time, so... And lots to see and explore in Cascade Locks. There's the island, I haven't, Thunder Island, I think it is. I haven't been out there. There's like a brewing place out there. Not that I care about that, but to go out on the island would be cool and get some good pictures of the bridge and just kind of hang out there. So, but first thing first, three days down there, um, two 20s and a eight, I think it was, or yeah, two, that makes sense because there's 50 and I did two today almost. So two 20s and an eight. Um, I don't know that I'm going to find something closer to Cascade Locks than that last one at 8 miles because it's severely downhill and the chances of finding a flat side on the downhill so that's really the last one so 8 miles is the closest I can get. Um, I could do a 20 plus tomorrow depending on how I feel and terrain and how early and whatever and then leave the next day, that's that Monday, to only have like a 15 or a 12 or something like that that would be nice and then an 8. So we'll see how I feel tomorrow. There's a little stiffness as of yesterday, like the left side of my calf, which is brand new. Never had that at all. Um, didn't go away with the resting today, but I haven't really fully laid down and elevated or anything like that. So we'll see if it's there tomorrow. I'm sure it will be in some form or fashion. Um, yeah, so I just got to take it easy these last three days and finish up and then have two days to rest and done and done. So... It's crazy to look at the map and see how much of Oregon is behind and then to think back of like mindset back in Ashland. I mean, I don't want to get up ahead of myself. I still got 50, 48, 48, 50 miles to do, but it is crazy. So I think that's it for today. going to be a short video. Um, hopefully I can do a more normal morning video and be a lot a lot of stuff to film or talk about or whatever maybe i'll make the last couple a little bit longer there's some things that i thought about talking about on here that i haven't so it's like maybe we got three days left and a little bit of time maybe now's the time we'll see so i'm gonna climb in there and relax the rest of the night and see how long it takes me to fall asleep and probably use a chunk of phone battery and try to stay somewhat entertained because i don't think i'm gonna be super tired i haven't been able to fall asleep till midnight when I was doing 26 mile days. You do, what did I do today? Maybe four? I haven't even looked three. Well, I don't know about falling asleep now. So, but food, sometimes that helps. I did bring a Mountain Dew out with me. I don't know if I should, I think probably save it for tomorrow. It's nice and cold now though. Um, but I didn't want to bring two. They were expensive out of the vending machine. It was like 350. Ridiculous. Everything in that place was expensive. Um, but those are behind me now, so anyway, that's it. Peace.